Well, it looks like Tesla Hardware 4 is finally coming to a car near you, but don't get too excited if you own a Tesla yet. Plus, I just realized how Tesla can get around the Osborne effect when introducing their new vehicle. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. First of all, happy Valentine's Day to those who care at all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you celebrate Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day. Anyway, I want to start with an article by Fred Lambert from yesterday on Electric, which is a more information about Tesla preparing to launch its new Autopilot Hardware 4.0 upgrade. This, of course, is the 3.0 card motherboard. Very famous, of course, at this point. But also, this started into mass production in sometime in 2018. I don't remember the exact date. So it's it's five years old, basically, at this point. And Hardware 4 has been rumored since sometime around 2020 or 2021 that that was going to be out. We obviously had a lot of events, including a pandemic around the globe and then a global chip shortage. So it slowed things down. So anyway, Hardware 4, which might actually be like a 4.2 or 4.3 at this point because it's been so long in development, is out by all accounts. It will be released soon, actually, which is what this article is about. But unfortunately, it will not be retrofitted into any of our Teslas if we already own them, even if you purchased one very recently that has Hardware 3 in it. So let's go ahead and read the article. Of course, I will leave the links to all of these in the description if you want to take a look at them. Tesla is preparing to launch its new auto Pilot hardware 4.0 upgrade according to a filing with European regulators. The automaker is expected to announce a new autopilot slash self-driving hardware suite, which has been referred to as hardware 4.0 or HW4 any day now. There have been quite a few indications that some major changes are coming. Yes, there have definitely been that. For example, after famously removing radar sensors from its hardware suite, we learned in December that Tesla is planning to add one as soon as the end of this month. If you haven't caught my episode on this, you should definitely check it out. The deal is is that as far as I understand it, speculation, of course, I don't have inf inside information, but they got rid of the low definition radar system and they're going to replace it with an HD radar system, which changes the game entirely and makes it very much worthwhile that they put that in. Anyway, check out that video where I go a lot more into detail about that. Continuing on, additionally, we also reported on a Tesla Model 3 prototype that potentially featured a new autopilot slash full self-driving hardware suite. This is interesting because as far as I understand it, the Model S and Model X will get hardware for first. And the deal, I believe, is probably that they're trying to ramp up production. And since we're only talking about tens of thousands of these vehicles per year, as opposed to hundreds of thousands of Model 3s and Model Ys, we're looking at a much, much easier ramp. So the likelihood is that the Model S and Model X either already do have it. It is possible that they are in there, but since Tesla is now filing for regulatory approval, it's also possible that it might not quite be in there. Expect an announcement on March 1st at the latest. It is possible they might talk about this earlier, but March 1st seems like the day they're going to just cram all the news in. So investor day looks like the day that there will probably be some announcements about all of this stuff. Anyway, moving from Europe to China, a report coming out of China also showed that Tesla applied with regulators for some modifications to its vehicles, including new autopilot cameras, which, by the way, they're using Samsung cameras, which have like five point something megapixels as opposed to the 1.4 megapixel or 1.6 megapixel cameras that are currently in Tesla. So it's going to be a big jump in resolution. I assume the quality will be substantially better than what I see when I look at the cameras in my vehicle. So it's not just the autopilot board, but also the cameras as well that are part of this hardware for system upgrade. Continuing, now Tesla has done the same in Europe, in other words, filed for regulatory approval, where it files, filed, I think, <laughs> filed for changes to its vehicles with regulators in the Netherlands. The Tesla forum TFF has a neat tracker to follow all the changes that the automaker applies for with regulators. And it revealed a new application for Model S and Model X, like I said, with a significant list of changes. Introduction of general Generation 4 Complex Vehicle Control System Autopilot, in other words, Hardware 4, that's the motherboard part. Introduction of a new car computer and GNSS antenna. Introduction of Gen 3 inverters to serial number drive units. Uh, the inverters are the things that, that alternate the DC current to AC current, I assume for the motors, so probably something cooler than what they have right now that may be more efficient or may deliver more power, who knows. Anyway, we don't know much about that, but Gen 3 inverters. 
change to automatic dipped and main beam sensor, unification of Model X brake system application, introduction of new stay arm for Model X interior rear view mirror, update to manufacturer's engine code, update to vehicle's rear badging, update to vehicle's maximum vehicle speed. It confirms that Tesla is about to release the new Autopilot hardware 4 and it is going to include a new computer. <laughs> with Tesla now applying with regulators, it is fair to expect the launch of the new hardware to be imminent. CEO or Techno King Elon Musk recently commented on the introduction of Hardware 4.0, and while he didn't release any details about the upgrade or its timing, he did confirm that Tesla doesn't plan to offer retrofits for older models, and that was indeed a big bummer. And if we pop over to this article dated January 26th, a couple of weeks ago, you can see Elon Musk kills off hope of Tesla retrofitting new autopilot self-driving hardware. The relevant quote down here is, the cost and difficulty of retrofitting hardware 3 with hardware 4 is quite significant, probably a bunch of the cabling and things like that, not just the cameras and the hardware board, but a lot of internal materials need to be upgraded. Anyway, so he says, so it would not be, I think, economically feasible to do so. It is a shame because it would be nice if they at least offered some sort of nominal upgrade, like you could do it for $2,000 or something like that and get an upgrade because I would certainly choose to do that because it will make my car relevant for many more years. And this is also from the conference call where Musk said, hardware three will not be as good as hardware four, but I'm confident that hardware three will so far exceed the safety of the average human. So how do we get ultimately to, let's say for argument's sake, if hardware three can be say 200 or 300% safer than humans, hardware four might be 500 or 600%. It will be hardware five beyond that, but what really matters is we are improving the average safety on the road. Now, the interesting piece of this puzzle, and I went and tried to Google this, but I couldn't find it. So it's possible Elon Musk never actually said these particular words, but I definitely recall that Elon Musk had promised, and this was a while ago, you know, 2019, 2020, that you would be able to make money on your vehicle. So that would be, you know, I purchased my Model Y in December of 2020, and that that car would be able to be used as a robo taxi to go out and make money for you. Now, again, you know, it's, it's, it's buried down in the annals of, of the internet somewhere. If somebody wants to find it, definitely let me know about it because I, I'm pretty sure that Elon Musk said that, which again, if they're going to only be 200 to 300% safer than an average driver, I really doubt, I've said this before, I really doubt that Hardware 3 is ever going to be allowed to be a robo taxi. Now, could it drive you from point to point? In other words, can I get up this morning after I finish this video and could I go into work and have the car just drive me straight there? Yes, I believe that that'll be the case. Case. So you as a person will be able to choose to have the car drive you and be liable for it and you can sit in the back seat or go to sleep or whatever you want to do in the car. I believe that that will happen with Hardware 3, but I do not believe by any means that there will be a robo taxi option for your vehicle with Hardware 3 in it. And that could, you know, it could set Tesla and Elon Musk up a little bit for some lawsuits at some point because people might say like, hey, you promised us that we could make money off of these vehicles. You drive Driving me around is great, but it's not making me money. It's not being done as a robo taxi. But anyway, that's a question for lawyers and litigators and for Tesla to deal with, not us. And I'll just cry a little bit about the fact that my car will likely never get hardware for. I would really love to be able to get that to upgrade the car. But I have a Cybertruck on order, so that definitely will have hardware for in it. So that will be exciting. And I guess that might become our new daily driver in that case, which seems ridiculous since it's such a big vehicle. And speaking of robo taxis, I actually had a little bit of a brainstorm while I was reading through this stuff and trying to search for Elon's quotes. This is uh, an article that was published in Car and Driver back in April of 2022. Again, I'll put a link in the description. The, the content is not that important, but basically Elon Musk makes fresh claim about Tesla RoboTaxi saying production to start by 2024. And we get a repeat of this from Clean Technica as well at the same time last year. So rumors are that Tesla is not just going to introduce the new Model 3, the Project Highland Model 3, which will be simplified and potentially cheaper, I don't know. And while the Model 3, of course, famously is being upgraded constantly by Tesla while it's being built, they haven't had a, a significant refresh like this that's required a new name or anything like that since the introduction of the original car. So it is going to be a big deal. But there are significant rumors that I've heard from people that I have some reason to trust about. So we'll see. I don't know. Again, speculation. Don't know but that on March 1st, there will be an announcement of some next generation product. 
And let's just say for argument's sake that it is the robo taxi vehicle that Tesla introduces. Well, Elon Musk has, you know, famously at this point said, because I found these referenced articles, that it will go into production in 2024, which means volume production probably in 2025. So we're looking at approximately three years from now before we get to volume production. And of course, I and many other people have said, whoa, there's going to be a massive Osborne effect on this, right? People are going to say like, oh, I can get this car for $22,000 or $25,000 or something, why would I buy a Model 3 for $35,000 to $40,000? That doesn't make any sense. I'll just wait and get this other vehicle. So in many people's minds, Tesla could be screwing themselves out of this whole deal. But the brainstorm I had was this. What if Tesla does announce this robo-taxi on March 1st at Investor Day, and they're like, here it is, it's gonna go into production in late 2024, we'll get volume production in 2025, but this car won't have a steering wheel, an accelerator, or a brake. In other words, it will be a robo-taxi. That is going to be a vehicle that will likely never be sold to the public. It will only be sold to fleet operators like Hertz, or Tesla will keep it themselves and they'll create an Uber competitor, and more than likely they'll do some combination of both. If they do this, this is something that we consumers could never purchase. And so it doesn't ultimately matter. You can look at it and you can go like, wow, that's a really cool technology. I can't wait to ride in one of those things, but it's not going to stop you from purchasing a car tomorrow. And that, in a nutshell, would be a brilliant 4D chess maneuver because Tesla will be going like, look, we are going to solve full self-driving. Hardware 4 is going to be robo-taxi capable. All of this stuff is going to happen, but this will not be a consumer vehicle. You can't purchase it, which means that you can just go ahead and buy whatever vehicle you want right now. And of course, the Model S and Model X, eventually the Cybertruck when it comes out, and then of course, the Model 3 and Model Y will all have hardware 4. So they will have the same capabilities as this robo-taxi. So so you can choose to purchase a new vehicle with the capabilities of the robo taxi, but of course a steering wheel and an accelerator and a brake pedal and all of that kind of stuff. You can purchase that today and you can have it and you can have it in your garage and you can drive it around. But we're also announcing this new vehicle, which will not be available for sale to normal consumers. And that will come out without any of that stuff. And here is the future. So in other words, Tesla doesn't have to introduce their new vehicle and then have it in mass production in six months. They can take all the time they want. They can showcase this and they can say, look what we've got. This thing is amazing, but you can't buy it. This is going to be something you'll be able to ride in someday, but not purchase. And so if you want a Tesla with hardware four and stuff in it right now, go ahead and purchase a Model S or Model X or wait for your Cybertruck pre-order or wait until the hardware 4 is put into Model 3 and Model Y as well. Anyway, if you want one now, get one now, purchase one. But if you want to wait for the full RoboTaxi experience, it will be coming when we get it done and when it's ready. But since you can't purchase it as a retail customer, it's not going to be bleeding off customers from purchasing vehicles today. And that, in my mind, would be genius. And now that I've thought of it, I'm like, I think that's what's going to happen on March 1st. Of of course, in two weeks and a day, we'll find out whether I'm right or wrong, but I kind of think I might be right about this one. Anyway, we'll find out soon enough. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it fun and interesting and thought-provoking. If you did, please do like it so other people can find it. And of course, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you all so much. I truly do appreciate your support. It means the world to me. And of course, if you want to join the team, just check out the link in the description. And if you're interested in a whole bunch of really cool merch, check out our merch store. Link is in the description. We have TeslaBot t-shirts, the Tesla meme t-shirt, success is a possible outcome, 4680 battery cells, all of that stuff is on t-shirts, mugs, tumblers, and on and on. So check it out. And finally, don't forget we are both Tesla and Amazon affiliates. If you look in the description, you can see how going shopping for a solar roof, a power wall, or anything on Amazon helps out the channel. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.